Hello everyone, good morning, welcome back to my channel. It's me Merlin again. So you are watching m, &M Journey. So if you are not my subscriber yet, please do subscribe. I will really appreciate that. And of course, uh, hit the notification bell. And don't forget to like this video if you do like it. So for today's video guys, um, I just wanted to share my experience or uh, what are the things or the common reasons why a lot of Filipinos and even foreigners uh, get in a car accident, you know, motorcycle accidents on the road when they were driving. So let's uh, talk about that later on. Please do keep on watching. So the first one will be street dogs or stray dogs. So those are the dogs um, who always, you know, um, laying down, sometimes across on the road. So, and personally, I do experience this one. I hit the dog, I killed the dog, and I didn't mean it. I didn't see the dog from a distance. It was just suddenly across on my lane. So, yeah. And um, some some dog they have some owner i mean there is owner of those dogs but they just don't put them on the cage or tie them or something like that so they are all free to go outside across the street so especially during morning like um 5 a.m to 7 usually there's so many dogs on the road especially if you were traveling long distance and you uh, here in the city, you won't see a lot of street dogs or stray dogs, but if you are traveling like a, a little bit like in the mountain area or something like that, like a town, not really a lot of people or not a, a lot of cars, big trucks, usually you will encounter dogs. And sometimes you will encounter as well goat, you know, goat and cows and caribals any kind of those animals mentioned you know sometimes the owner put them on the side of the road without measuring the rope you know if uh, that rope will be enough or or road and then it will across on the road and you as riders or a, you know a driver you don't know that there is something in there and boom it you will just hit on the you know the rope and there you go accident happened okay, number two no traffic lights i know some of you i don't know if you guys um know about this that not all parts here not all city here in the philippines have <clears throat> street lights you know so in big cities like cebu manila they will have like a street lights but over here where I am, um, Domagati, we don't have any street lights on the intersections. So you guys must be patient. You guys must be, uh, you know, look carefully before crossing that intersection because there is no, there is no traffic light. So, yeah. You have to slow down. You have to look left and right, you know before crossing the intersection so, you know number two will be road holes so it's not especially not even in in the town or let's say um, remote area so even here in in um, the city there are so many holes you know there's so many holes in the road um, that can maybe cause an accident not not really maybe it can really make you an accident like you are driving so fast because you were thinking that it's just you know straight road or uh, yeah but all of the sudden you fail it's because there is uh, a hole yeah so uh, that's one thing that you should remember as well and one reason as well why so many holes in the road as well is unfinished um, wood construction like they're just digging those cement and then they don't finish it they just let it there okay number four number four is those 
you know, you have to be careful as well. There are so many, many, like, under construction road in here, road widening, you know, uh, road repairing. Sometimes, they do forget to put early warning device, you know, and you are so driving so fast and you don't know that there is a under construction road, especially during at night. So there is no, it must be okay during the day because you can see from a distance. So, uh, but during at night, you should be very, very slow. Not really slow, but be really careful because sometimes the DPWH or who are the in charge of the road construction, they forgot to put the early warning device. So that cause as well a lot of accidents in here so many debris and all that stuff you know so yeah that's it so many under finish under finished construction road so be careful number so number four lots of motorcycle no headlights actually i don't know um over in the province, it is common, so you will see those people driving in the motorcycle with no signal lights, no headlights. So sometimes when they were driving during at night, they were using cell phones to light on their way, and some of them are using flashlights, you know. So there's no headlights, there is no... You should be careful if you are driving in kind of like a small town. Usually, you will meet those people I, I uh, like this. So, number five, aside from no traffic light, a lot of places as well, national highway here in the Philippines, there is no street lights. Yes, um, there is no street lights. So, all, all, all you can do is just use your headlights and... Uh, yeah, it's so dangerous walking on the street without street lights. So, in the city, they have street lights, of course. But over in the remote control area, well, you can only see a few. So, where are we? Number six. So, number six will be reckless driver or arrogant driver. There are so many. I mean, it's not only in the Philippines, I guess. It's also in your country. So, Yo, yeah, you will see a lot of people also here driving using phones. Yeah, especially driver, car drivers, and even on, on the motorcycle drivers. And uh, over speeding, yeah, that's it. You know that there is no traffic light when you are in the intersection. So some people don't give any chance for you to cross, even if you were the first, you know, get in there. So, and there are some people actually like, um, arrogant drivers, like, they will do like this when they do drive. And you are staying on your lane and he keeps doing that driving. Uh, reckless drivers as well. And it's, it's not new. So even though you are driving carefully in here, or wherever in this world you can tell that you know what when will be the incidents because of the people around you as well even though you're trying to be really really careful slowly driving but sometimes it really happens the accident so ride safe guy be nice to other riders as well so that's it for today i hope you do like this video and if you're not subscribing yet to my channel please do subscribe i really appreciate that thank you so much to all my members shout out to all of you thank you so much for staying as my members and thank you for my loyal subscribers guys especially from united states thank you so much you are one of my top in in my geography top watchers thank you so much and also new zealand thank you so much diane and johnny thank you thank you so much so thank you guys for watching bye bye